Okay, this one comes from a um, question generated by Jensen <laughs> GPT. It would be great if we could just uh, get uh, a chatbot to just make great DF Direct <laughs> Q&A questions for us every week. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is elaborating on something Alex said in the most recent DF Direct, which I'm inclined to agree with and would love some further discussion. Does PSSR have a future beyond mm. PS5 Pro? Sony made PSSR during a time when AMD was adamant ML was not needed for high-quality upscaling. Sony disagreed, so they made their own ML upscaler and hardware block to support it. AMD has since pivoted on this opinion and developed their own ML upscaler, and Sony and AMD have formed a partnership centered around AI development. The entire point of a partnership like this is to spread costs slash resources across multiple companies for a common goal, saving everyone money. So if AMD is already making FSR4, what would be the purpose of Sony continuing to spend the time, money and resources in developing PSSR further? Just seems redundant to me. Yeah, this is an interesting point, right, Alex, because um, we mm -hmm. assumed that um, Sony would be developing um, PSSR because there wasn't an off-the-shelf AMD solution that they could tap into um, in the way that they have with raid facing. And yet, CES 2025, kind of out of nowhere, we get what looked like a really good ML-based AI upscaler from AMD which surely much have, must have had some level of development time crossover with PSSR. I'm yeah. curious as to whether, well, the, the other thing which uh, I think we can talk about from this question, there, there isn't exactly an ML block as such in the PS5 Pro. And I'm not sure there is in right. RDNA 4, um, but I'm curious as to what you make of this question more generally. I think the timelines were not lined up there at all. And I think like you phrase it there, Rich, AMD pivoted at some point, perhaps in the middle of the development of the PS5 Pro towards the latter half of its cycle. If you recall an idea of direct a number of months ago, there was an interview with the gentleman at AMD who said, you know, I went to the team 12 months, 10 months ago, 12 months ago. And I said, you know, machine learning is the future guys. <laughs> we have to make an FSR about with ML. And at that timeline, we had already had like four years of DLSS two, even longer. And so, you know, I think if that, is if we're to trust that AMD spokesperson uh, on their word, that would definitely not be within the generative like time span of when PS5 Pro was being concepted and they were gonna be starting taping out and stuff like that. No, this was far later into that. So they would have already done a lot of this groundwork and AMD is coming to the table late essentially. And as a result, you have them focusing FSR4's development on the capabilities of RDNA 4 which are going to be greater than what's in PS5 Pro. Uh, in, in from a machine learning perspective, it's going to have a lot more tops, for example. Uh, so FSR4 can target that better and perhaps use a different model that is bigger, may not even be a CNN for all we know, for example, could be a transformer model for all we know, could be leveraging uh, acceleration that is not even possible on PS5 Pro. And I think that this miss this missing of timelines that were not completely aligned and AMD coming into the to this game late and Sony wanting to do it earlier because they have a very compelling reason to do it earlier. They want to bring out a new console. Um that that, that we kind of in this situation as we are right now. That is my assumption. Uh and I think though if FSR4 proves to be really great in a way that PS PSSR is more like, you know, Oliver could say a lot about PSSR, mm -hmm. but you know, like it's not so great always. Where if FSR four proves to be just qualitatively much better, then it is definitely something I can imagine where a, you know Sony leverages that in their next console instead of uh, continuing work on mm -hmm. PSSR, which is what I said last week. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, <laughs> any comments, John? Not really. This just uh, okay. the, the, just the kind of <laughs> construction wars continue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to get you on to uh, FSR four. ASAP. I'm excited about FSR four. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you've actually seen it, and um, it was just fantastic mm -hmm. that they actually chose the game that you use for reconstruction testing, <laughs> and it was you could actually go to an area that you use for the reconstruction te testing very easily, <laughs> put it through its paces. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how that's all going to pan out, and also the mm -hmm. extent to which those FSR three point one games can just be simply upgraded with the uh, DLL 
swapped Vic. Um, and I guess the way timelines are aligning, it might be the case that your analysis of DLSS Transformer might form a part of the FSR4 review, kind of yeah, all in one. one big thing. We have to check mm -hmm. that out. We can see how the timelines uh, collide there.